and I'm not the most compassionate person, but I'm sending him out for one more round because he's getting badly beaten up. His face is a bloody mess. He's got really deep, wide, jagged cuts above his eye, which Philip Fondu won't be able to stop the bleeding with any kind of adrenaline or Vaseline. And he's now getting... He's got nose damage and closed eyes. Good work from Dylan White. Big combinations. Lucas Brown will try and chat one more, but he can't. Attention just goes to Lucas Brown because that was a heavy fall and the celebrations will just be muted for the moment because he was absolutely out as that punch landed. The excellent medics are in there tending to Lucas Brown and making sure that he is given his oxygen and that everything is absolutely fine. That's the only thing that matters. We mentioned about whether he should be out for much more of this and White sprung on him. And that was a chilling knockout, it really was. We all thought it might be Lucas Brown that could pull that sort of a punch off. People were almost riding off Dylan White's punch power. He's gone over to make sure that Lucas Brown is okay. Robert Smith from the board is uh, over at the uh, excellent medical teams. Best in the business, aren't they, the British board, when it comes to this after, you know, what's happened to Michael Watson, Spencer Oliver, Paul Ingle and others over the years. It can't be any better. It's always a dangerous sport, but it can't be any better governed than it is in Britain. No, that's right. The British Boxing Board of Control and the paramedics on site, they're all really experienced and fully trained. The Board of Control, this is of paramount importance for them, the safety of the boxers and... You see the paramedics straight in there with the oxygen. I mean, it was a heavy left hook that sent him down, and he looked unconscious before he hit the floor. This is this is the this is the hard side of boxing. These scenes here. Big strong man, Lucas Brown, face cut and blooded. He's looking like he's going to be okay here. He's he's on his side. He's up. He's he's conscious. Yep, they're all around him. And Lucas Brown is getting to his feet. And that is, or certainly to his a sitting position, which is great to see. That is the only thing that we who cover the sport of boxing and the fighters like yourself, Carl, that are brave enough to get in there, want to see. At the end, it is, of course, a sport, a business. But Lucas Brown has a family to go back to. And we want him safe and well. And that's great to see Dillian White over with him after the, the needle, the maybe unnecessary bad blood at times. But there is that respect, isn't there, that you guys just get from being in there? Oh, of course. I mean, all the, all the pre-fight build-up and all the talk, it can get you wind up. But ultimately, you don't want to cause any serious harm to your opponent. Lucas Brown, a big man now. He's on his feet. He was very tired when that shot landed, and that always makes the effect of the shot a lot worse. He was exhausted, he worked hard, he was walking forward, swinging away, trying, taking a lot of punishment. So when that left hook actually connected... They're showing a shot of David Hay because Dillian White just came over and had a little word with him. <laughs> I'm not sure whether that was to say I want to fight with you at some point, or whether it was a... Uh... Ah, you should watch more boxing because maybe he didn't get a run. I think he picked Dillian, didn't he, David, beforehand? No one picked Dillian as emphatic as that. Well, not many, anyway. It was a uh, very, very impressive performance.